Hello, today we are going to be talking about educational technology blogs. Need a little help from my friends. As you know, integrating technology into a classroom can be a beneficial tool but for improving educational performance of students. However, many teachers are slow and apprehensive to use technology in their classrooms for several reasons. Uh, Card Shellman lists some of the reasons teachers have said they are reluctant to use technology in the classroom. They say it'll be a waste of time in their class. Students focus on getting logged in and set up. It just, it's a waste. It takes up too much time. Um, it'll cause teachers to lose control of their class as the buzz off of off-task class talk increases, and especially when the technology collapses in the middle of the lesson. I think we've all been there as educators. Um, figuring out how to use this product product and integrate it into the curriculum will require an unacceptable amount of my planning and preparation time. This is a big one for teachers. Teachers, you know we don't have a lot of time and um, eight hours in a day is just really not a lot. We bring a lot of it home. Uh, if I show I cannot use the product in front of my students, my authority will be damaged. No teacher likes to stand up in front of the class and use a tool, a product, or anything and not know how to use it. Um, you know, they feel that it doesn't look good in front of their students and, you know, how will their students trust using it? My students will not be able to do that. They don't believe in their students or they don't believe, the, you know, the technology is too hard. It's too, it's too much. I would love to use this product, but I have to give priority to teaching the content specified in the district pacing guide. Again, you know, a lot of teachers feel that they have to, um, you know, teach the standards and, and, and I think that comes from just teachers not understanding technology. So, reading all of this, is any of this you? Does this resonate with any of, um, of you, any of these reasons why teachers gave that they are reluctant to use technology? Like I said from above, let's lean on our friends for some help. Today we're going to look at three different blogs and... Um, for educational technology. We have ISTE. We help educators around the world use technology to solve tough problems. At Utopia, we show people how they can adapt or adapt best practices, and we tell stories of innovation and continuous learning in the real world. And TeacherCast. The site is designed for me to share my experiences as a technology integration specialist to share with you how you can successfully infuse and integrate technology into your classroom. Three great blog sites, very helpful. All right, first up, ISTE. I have provided all of the links to all the blog sites for you on this presentation that you um, can access. Now, wow, this one this one is, is a great blog site. It's incredible and helpful resource for teachers trying to implement educational technology into their classroom. Um, I have shown right here some different topics that they have on their website computer science, digital and media literacy, digital citizenship, and that's one that I want to focus on um, that is really great with this blog site. I've taken some snippets from, from the site and for digital citizenship. Um, not all students in schools are aware of what is appropriate, ethical, or legal as they communicate, create, or consume online content by Hugh and Campbell. 2018. And so in a time where students are surrounded by technology, it is of the most up it is of the utmost importance that we teach our students how to appropriately and safely use technology. And this website, blog site has amazing um, blogs written from different people about the do's and don'ts to seamless integration for technology. Digital citizenship starts with the person, not the tool. They have so many great resources here that you can just scroll through um, it seems almost like endlessly, and different topics about digital citizenship, but again, all different things related in the whole site is all about technology, integrating technology into the classroom, what you can do to, um, to help your classroom, to help you as a teacher, to help your students. It is just an amazing site and one that is very beneficial for teachers. Next up is Edutopia, another great resource for teachers. This blog site provides blogs on many different topics from educators and professionals around the world. Again, on this page, I showed the different topics that they have, and they have more than this. This is just all that was 
um, that I could get on the screen, but they have the technology integration and how to zero in on the right, right technology tools. You know, technology is really becoming a huge part of our classrooms and students learn differently. And sometimes technology can be hard for students. So it's great for teachers to understand and know what tools are out there to help their students be successful. And um, this one I took, I thought this was, this was kind of neat. You know, TikTok, if you're familiar with that, the students, kids everywhere are really into TikTok these days. And so this one is a classroom without walls. Teachers take their lessons to TikTok. So it's little bite-sized video content helps educators deliver key academic concepts while their students learn anywhere, anytime. This is a great one for getting students engaged. You know, it relates to their real world, what they do outside of school, gets their attention. So I think this would be very helpful for teachers. And powerful, lesser known tech tools for teachers. Again, you know, those technology tools, what can we do to help our students use technology in a beneficial way that supports them and empowers them in their educational performance? So another great blog site. And um, like I said, from different, different people around the world, different educators. And again, these are, you know, like I said, in quotations, these are our friends. So, you know, we learn best from each other. And so very resor um, resourceful information on these sites. This next one is TeacherCast. TeacherCast is um, by a man, Jeff Bradbury. He's an educator, speaker, and a broadcaster. And he started this blog for teachers to help teachers. And that's what it's all about, right? I mean, we, we're here to help. You know, we help students. But again, we learn from each other. And what better way to learn than from someone that you know, other people that are doing this or that have done this and they're experienced with technology. Technology can be, you know, like we mentioned before, it can be scary in the beginning for some educators. So here in the middle, you see on their site, it says, what would you like to learn about? And they have different topics, but again, classroom technology integration. You know, this um, presentation is all about getting technology into your classroom and knowing how to use it for yourself, for your students. In our district, we use Google, Google Forms, Google Docs. We're a big Google-based district. And so on his blog site, he has several blogs that are focused on Google, um, just different topics. And so this is a great way for teachers to understand what they're using, how to, you know, how to use these Google Forms and everything. And this one is, you know, how to create self-graded quizzes, which is a great tool and helpful tool for teachers. This one over here is how to change theme, header, and background color settings. You know, again, like I said earlier, it, we want to get our students engaged and we want to keep them engaged. And sometimes, you you know, you got to make it fun. you got to make it exciting, colorful, grab their att attention and, and keep them focused on, you know, on the task at hand and what they're learning. So another great, another really, really great blog site that is very helpful and resourceful for, for teachers to use, you know, and even teachers that are experienced in technology in their class with using technology in their classroom, there's still so much to learn, you know, technology is ever changing. It's, and it's been around, but it's, you know, there's new things coming out all the time. And so even for veteran teachers using technology, th these blog sites are great to um, kind of reinvent the wheel, you know, learn new things, try new things in your classroom. Students, you know, the kids are these days, that's all, you know, technology, their lives are kind of based around technology. So it's almost like, you know, we're kind of trying to, you know, we're getting on their level and bringing them up and, and teaching them so much more than, you know, than just their cell phone and social media. So but, you know, they're interested in technology. So it's important that we as educators know how to use it and what to do in order to help them be successful in the classroom. And those are our three sites, blog sites. These are the references that I used in my presentation. I hope you found this to be helpful. Thank you.